First News has been looking into a stretch of streetlights that have been out for roughly a year. On U.S. Route 62 westbound, right between the Madison Ave Expressway and the Himrod Ave Expressway, there's close to a mile with no streetlights on. Now, if you take a look behind me, you can see that all the lights are out and it's completely dark. You could probably see my hazard lights going off, but other than that, nothing. And so I caught up with the director of Public Works in Youngstown and asked him, Whose responsibility is it to make sure that these lights get fixed? If it's, if it's a freeway that is not an interstate, State Route 193, Madison Avenue Expressway, um, State Route 62, Himrod Expressway, State Route 711, those, those are ours. But Shasho says he's not sure why the lights have been out for so long. It, if there's a stretch of lights that are out, it sounds like it could be some type of circuit issue. Um, and you know we'll have to do some further investigation. Shasho said it's possible First Energy will be the ones to fix the problem and the city will be billed for the work. A statement from First Energy was sent to First News stating, while these streetlights are owned by the city of Youngstown, we are reviewing tariffs to see if we can complete the lighting repairs as billable work for the customer. It went on to state that over the few weeks, we'll be inspecting about 100 streetlights along and near the expressway to get a better idea of how many repairs we are looking at. We are currently working with the city to try and resolve the streetlight concerns and get them back up and running soon. Shasho says anyone who notices streetlights that are out can report them to First Energy. And we asked First Energy if there have been any prior reports of the lights being out. And they said that they're not sure how many reports have come in, if any, about those lights in particular. First Energy, however, did send some contact information for anyone looking to report an outage. And you can find that information in the article below. In Youngstown, Jennifer Rodriguez, WKBN 27 First News.